Miami lost outright at home as a five point favorite in game one after opening at minus six and now they're again a six point favorite in game two, but things might turn out very differently here. As imperfect as Miami looked in game one, they have lost game ones before and they have a great record of bouncing back in game twos after game one losses in the playoffs, both straight up and against the spread. And this is something that's being widely discussed in betting circles. The Heat will definitely make adjustments here and no small matter will be that uh, they might also get some help from the refs if need be. Strategically, Miami figures try to step up the physicality in game two. And if they do that, the refs will probably be pretty lenient with the whistles. And uh, they might also put the Spurs defenders in foul trouble if LeBron attacks the middle more in game two, which is also something that uh, I think is likely to happen. Still, the Spurs are a machine and they're probably a bit of a different animal than the other teams that Miami's rebounded against so well after a loss in the past. The Spurs play great team defense, they're disciplined, and they don't turn the ball over, so they stay in games even when they're not playing particularly well, which is something that we saw in the first three quarters of game one. The Spurs have better role players, and for the Heat, Dwayne Wade and especially Chris Bosh are not reliable as the stars that they're needed to be. So it's tough, but if I had to make a pick here, I would go with the Spurs at plus six, although I definitely won't be betting it, and I did bet the Spurs in game one. Miami does have the awesome record uh, off of losses in general and game one losses specifically, but the main factor that's going to keep me from betting the Spurs here uh, is the uncertainty of the role that the refs might play and what a huge impact the foul situation could easily make on the game. But the Spurs are just so deep, they're so reliable on defense, and they're so well coached that giving them six points in a playoff game like this is probably too much in light of how suspect LeBron's sporting cast is. So I'll go with the Spurs plus six as my pick, but again, I won't be betting it in case the refs do give a significant leg up to Miami, in which case the Heat uh, should be able to get the win comfortably.